Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to We Happy Few, where we had a quest from the butcher to do, didn't we? Yes, the possibly heinous package. Well, can't wait to see what we got to do for this. Where is it that we indeed need to go? All the way down there. Wow, that's quite a distance. You had to make it a distance one. You know, everything's so much nicer now that I've started abusing the quick, tra you know, quick travel. You know, what you're meant to do. Well, go away. So, let's see what this Horanus package is meant to be. Huh. Um, Please this keep is a clear thing. of the area, sir. We are conducting an investigation into a possibly heinous package. That's what the quest's called, so... Oi. What hey! Are you doing there? What do you mean? I'm looking. Hello, Constable Hunt. Hello, Constable Grimshaw. Hello, Constable Stubbs. Oi. You don't miss me How am I trespassing? How was I trespassing? Help yourself. Um, hello, Mr. Doctor. I want nothing to do with you. So, what am I meant to do about these police officers is the question. Hmm. Simple answer, really. Oi! Get out of there! Hey! I am trying to be nice, if you don't mind. Would you like some beer? I just beer? want you to know that I appreciate... Well, I for one appreciate your work. Yeah? You good, happy? Well, that is frightful decent of you. I hope you appreciate my work too. I do. I do, Mr... Mr. Oi. Stubbs. This is for you. I'm giving you a nice You're beer. A good man, Constable. Yes. Yes, he is. We'll just go and have a sip of the old medicinal. Warm up. And then we'll see what sort of investigation is warranted. I'm glad to hear that. Off you go, good good people. Resolve themselves in the blink of an eye. When you blink your eye. Situation in the So. Um. How do I remove the heinous package? Why are you off your drive? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not off my joy. Go to hell. Are you where you should be? Yes. I am sorting out this. No what am what I meant to do with this? We're all alive and happy. That essential oh, there it is. This is not who I really am. am. It's easy to smile and you've so much to be thankful for. But just because it's easy. Possibly Harina's package. Okay, carrot, raw meat, rotten mushroom. <laughs> Wait. You better run, you thief! Okay, I did that by accident. I'm leaving. Oi! Would you like I'm giving you beer. Don't oi at me. Who knows? Good. You happy? You happy? We don't get a lot of thanks in this line of duty. No, I don't imagine you would. Resolved. I'll best be discreet. Discreet? How can you be discreet? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just carrying a suspiciously body-shaped bag is all. Don't worry about me. Hupty dupty dup. Hupty dupty dup. Avoid the doctor. Hupty dupty dup. Good day, constable. I'm just carrying a body. That's all. Don't nothing to worry about here. Dumpty 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 dum dumpty dumpty dum dumpty 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 dum 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 dum. Dum de dum de dum de dum. Shut up, doctor. Go to hell. Dum de dum de dum de dum. Dum de dum da dum. I love. I love how they say be discreet. Yeah, I'm totally being discreet. Just carrying a body. That's all. Makes me wish I could have taken this through the hatch, but I doubt it would have let me. Really doubt it. I mean, it would have made a lot more sense if you could, because at least that would be discreet. You're not carrying it full... You're not carrying a body bag throughout the entirety of town. No. But no, we have to carry a body bag through the entirety of town. Because who cares about discretion? 
clearly not the person who told us to be discreet. Don't worry, Arthur. We're almost there. You can soon drop this horrendous package off. Behind the butchers, I'm told. Hmm. Where is behind the butchers, if you don't mind my asking? You can take your joy immediately. Shut up. There we go. You can take your joy Go tell Mr. Cutty What's the good news. pleasure, then? Arthur Hastings. Yep. You are an intrepid young man. Indeed I am. You've done me a solid. They don't make them like you anymore. I'm sure they don't. Well, we suppose they don't make them at all anymore. <laughs> Very true. Here. Very the least true. I can do is give you what I gave poor Edmund. That's Look, fair. my job has been getting complicated. I could certainly use an apprentice. Do you like a permanent position? Um... Um... Ha! Huh. I want to save before I decide that. What do we have in here, then? Do or do not? Edmund's a good lad, but he's always been a bit... limited. And my work has become so challenging of late. It makes sense. You're I've a butcher to with no meat. extraordinary though. measures to keep this tank fed. We are in an extraordinary situation, aren't we? Kind of, yes. You're so helpful in bringing me that package. Now, we need to process it. Okay. You want me to help process that package? I'm not proposing you hurt anyone, you understand? Just ignore a silly old taboo. Just go on through that door if you're willing to help. Hmm. I can't believe I'm even considering this. Maybe I should just walk out and report into the police. Hmm. People do have to eat, though. What kind of person am I? It might be an easy choice to unchoose. Um. In full honesty, I've never cared. Some people say you can't get good help these days. Ow. Okay. Oh, things. No windows. Why, it's not ominous at all. Welcome to Cutty's Mechanical Kitchen, featuring the very latest in meat packing technology. It used to take days to dismantle a carcass. With my new inventions, one apprentice can reduce a carcass to its edible parts in no time at all. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is the very first time we're running our machines on the real material. <sighs> what have I got myself into? Now, the first thing that I need you to do is obtain the package from the upstairs cold storage room. Don't worry. Right. At no point will you have to unwrap the package. The magic all happens through the provided access valve. You didn't need to zap me, is all I can say. So, what kind of crap do you have in here? First, we All must right. exsanguinate the package. Okay. Bring it downstairs to the exsanguinator. The exsanguinator, you say? Um, I should probably actually track the right quest. Right. Before okay. you make the package, you'll need to operate each machine once. Right. Just to clear out any residue and check its operational soundness. We don't want to contaminate the product, do we? No, I guess that makes sense. Right. Now, join the package to the exsanguinator via the provided access box. Now, turn the crank until the exsanguinator determines that the package no longer contains free liquids. We don't want anything to go to waste, do we? Free liquids, you say? Okay. Ah, good. As you can see, each machine will release this package once it's accomplished its purpose. Right. Efficiency is our watchword. I like efficiency. Next up, evisceration. Sounds That'll fun. Be the the eviscerator. You learn quickly. 
As before, engage the mechanism briefly. Was it supposed to do that? Did you not see the bleeds come out? No, just, just sparks. Also, a, a metal thing just fell out of the main bit. Oh, dear. The commutators are overloaded again. I thought we'd fix that. But maybe you better Clearly come not. down here and fix it again. Ha! Ah, uh, I'm sure you can manage on your own. There's a spare one in the cupboard downstairs. There's only one way to insert it. Okay. Oh, time to read this now. Ooh, honey. If you're gonna steal all my stuff, I might as well take my a good amount of stuff from you as well. Rick, better get my stuff back and not be turned into the meal. Huh? They clearly want okay. me to stay away from the cellar. Is that the way out? I wonder. All right then, fair enough. Staying out the cellar. Staying out the cellar. Don't zap me again. It's in. Here we go. Try the button again. Right, okay, try the button. Good as new! Well, it's actually quite new, so, you know. Anyway, we're back in action. You can attach the package now. Do I want well to? Well mounted, lad. Well mounted. Excellent! When the eviscerator is done, the package will be dismounted, ready for another package. Uh, another no, package? Once I achieve a steadier stream of raw material, I would like to keep these machines running all day. Or at least long enough to take advantage of any surplus protein that could be obtained in Wellington Wells. You're a very special type of person. Now for the final process. Yeah. Bring the package to the exfoliator on the next floor. Exfoliator? Yep. It exposes the skin to steam, separating it from the muscle. And then it removes the skin, making it available for tanning. For other purposes. I, I, I don't mean tanning. to be impertinent, but shouldn't you do that first? Oh, no, no. There are no stupid questions, only stupid answers. But that will result in a leakage of liquid. And you won't want to put it second either, because the package is much easier to manipulate with its skin on. I'm so glad I asked. On with the exfoliator! Press the button, check the functional integrity, und so weiter! I, I, I mean, and so forth! I can't stop laughing because of the fact he genuinely reasons it. It, it, like, he knows what he's actually doing with harvesting this. Now, mount the package on the exfoliator. Okay. Superb! The package will be released once it's fully exfoliated. Do you think exfoliator is the right word? Maybe. I thought about decorticator. No. But it's sanguinate, eviscerate, exfoliate. Has a nice ring to it. I actually completely agree Definitely with that. Exfoliate. I'm so glad to hear that. I mean, it's a scolder, skinner, but that doesn't sound very official, does it? No, I'm not. And the slightest. last machine is the extruder. All right then. Oh, ho, ho! that's it. The package is now fully prepared. Uh -huh. We're ready for the extruder. Mind the package and let's get cracking. Oh, -ho! I can barely contain myself. This Where's that one then? It's really the machine I'm proudest of. It's a combination meat grinder, pulper, mm. and injection mold meat former. Okay then. He wouldn't believe what I had to go through to get the pieces. Fair enough then. So I'm meant to test this, right? What's this note then? Um, Doctor, Miss, dear Mr. Cutty, thank you for your contribution to the next war effort. The troops appreciate the sausages. We think the patriotic things are smashing. Blah blah blah. Do the good work. Blah blah blah. Yours truly. Blah blah blah. All right, sure, whatever. Well then. Okay. Now, up on my board, you'll see a list of orders. 
So right. already filled in the addresses. All you have to do is press the voice button. For example, if you want to call for one meter and one meat cupcake, then you press the appropriate button and then you put the order in a pneumatic tube. Pneumatic tube. I'm guessing that's what this is going to be. Right, okay. So, where are the orders then? Uh, where did he say the note was? Sausages, eh? I don't know where sausages are. Oh wait, is it this thing? Uh, blue, blue, red, orange. Okay. Blue. Blue. Red. Orange. <laughs> work! Now, put the order in the hopper. Okay. How do I do that? Or is that... Oh, that's what this is. There we go. Alright, now what, Mr. Butcher? Now what? Off it goes. Is okay, that, I had to press the green button. We've a feeling this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. All right then. Um, orange, red, red, orange, orange, red, red, orange. Come on, thank God! Wow, okay, I'm um, sorry. You're doing there well. There you go. And doing good, too. Glad to hear it. Um, what was the next order then? It was orange, green, green, blue. Orange. Green. Was it green, green, blue? Or, yeah, green, green, blue. Green. Blue. I want you. Focusing on the job. I am focusing no on your job. Dream. I'm doing what you tell me to do. I wish we had more butchers. I could start franchising. Orange, green, orange, blue. Orange. Green. Leave. Orange. Blue. You're a smart lad! Speed it up! Don't zap me then if you want me to speed it up! Isn't it an amazing system? I suppose. I'm quite proud of all the automation. I'm sure you are. Green, gr green, orange, orange, green. Green. Orange. Orange. Green. You know, this is unfair, given the... Focusing on the job. This and is no time to daydream. Can you make your machine unfair. a little faster, then? Oh, is that it? And look at that. Oh, okay. I'm all out of orders. I think this new system's working brilliantly. It looks like it's it. way out of here. Take a break. Take a break. Plan a daring escape. Okay. That means I need to search around what's potentially around the place. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let me out. Ah, oh, he didn't want me touching that, did he? No. Ah, and there's a zappy right there. So, hmm. Right. If I just click the let me out, I don't think it's going to work. What's this then? Cutty's August journal. August 30th. Have to be more careful. I accidentally put my hat next to the suction coupling and it went right into the intake canister. Spent an hour pulling felt off the blades in the cyclone mincer. Imagine if that had been a bottle, or worse, a wrench. Fair, that makes sense. September 9th. Problem solved. Added a power cut off to the suction coupling. Now it won't even start up unless a package is mounted onto it. I'm going to add that same cut off to all the machines to minimize accidents. Makes Don't want sense. Edmund's hand ending up in the V meat. Ah, makes sense. If I stuff that broken bit of the eviscerator into the package, it ought to clog up the works nicely, shouldn't it? All right. Are you ready for Ooh. another day of serving people? I mean, uh, serving the people, of course. <laughs> Which is the extruder? Ex Never mind. 
Sabotage the excluder. Right then. Ha! Let's see you extrude that. Warning, you are trespassing. I'm trespassing now, am I? Something's gone terribly wrong! There's smoke coming out! That doesn't sound good. The better I'd come down. Don't try anything clever. We got a lot to do today. Shall we do? And it takes too long to recover from the spanker. Find a way out. Okay. You maniac! You blew it up! Yep! Oh, damn you! God damn you! I think I'll just get my things and go. Yeah, I think I will. We will. Um, what's this note then? Dearest Martha. Uh, probably one of the probably one of the last packages. Damn thing! Recover my stuff. Where can I recover my stuff from? Apprentice to the extruder room, please. Apprentice to the. I don't see anyone else's things here. That's a good sign. You're not in the center, are you? Maybe. Right, if you're gonna do that, I'm gonna cheat as well myself. Uh, there we go. An apprentice. Hello, Michael Cully. Michael Cutting! Yeah, I'm sure there are. Would it? Can I leave all this guy? Come now! Most unbecoming behavior! Well, okay. He clearly doesn't care for anything happening with me today. What's going on up there? I heard shouting. Where's Rich? Mr. Oh, Cut is turning cadavers into V-meat. I barely escaped becoming V-meat myself. He's got these horrible machines in there that turn people into meat bunt cake. He's probably in on Human it. Human bunt cake? That's... That's monstrous! Yes, it he's is! Armed. He has a rather nasty spanker, but I think he's a bit trapped in the cellar at the moment. Right. We'll knock out the power and go spank him ourselves. Good Thank man! You, citizen. We'll take it from here. I'm only wearing this outfit because it's to immune to electricity. I'm a pillar of the community! It's all lies! I never! Sure Those you are wouldn't. all perfectly legitimate machines! No, they're I'm not. I'm only trying to feed people! You're lucky I didn't get my hands on you. You should give thought to becoming a vegetarian. Well. Glad to know. Glad to... Glad he's now out of business. He didn't do all that well at anything, really. Um, you're very lucky, as I said. You didn't get... I didn't get my hands on you, and I wasn't allowed to beat you up. Because if I was, I'd have put you through your own machine. Don't act like you guys wouldn't have, wouldn't have done that as well. Well, anyway, on to the next mission. You think something like this is going to stop me fr from doing my job? Ha ha ha. Oh, you silly people. Right. Well, let's do this one single mini quest left. And then somehow... Yeah. I feel like an upstanding... Commu upstanding part of the community right now. With the fact of everything I've done. We've taken out meat from the menu. I am now. I am a vi viable member of PETA now. All hail vegetarianism. What the bloody hell have I done? Well, I need to do this without setting off the downer detector, so... Uh, where is it? Sunshine! Let's have one of those, please. That's strange. I don't feel a thing. I could walk past any joy detector and no one would know I'm not stoned out of my mind on joy. Yep. There we go. Search the old, the old, the old impounded car. Oi! You don't belong there. Don't I? I love a game of hide and seek. I didn't hide. Yeah, I'll be off then. All right, Mr. Guard, if you want to play like this, we can play like this. Hey, your footsteps are purple. That's interesting. Oi! Get out of there! But I'm meant to be here. That's it. Keep running. Okay. Oh, uh, fine. <laughs> um, 
You wanna play? You wanna play, Mr. Policeman? Put that down! Why would I put it down? See? Why would I put it down? Now if you excuse me, I need to heal myself. That was a good heal. Thank you, Mr. Medicated Balm. Right. So, let's go check on this car somehow. I just picked up a constable key card. Oh, bloody hell. Screw with it. Let me in. Right then. So. I am looking for something or other. And what that something or other is, I don't know. But I've opened this back way. Which is all I need to do right now. Interesting how I'm considered trespassing right now and how the two guards seem to be very intimate with each other as well. Alright, so what's in this suitcase then? Disposable safe cracker. I'll take that. Stunt ducks. First aid kit. Cross sound. Sovereigns. Bobby pins and ethereal linen. Okay then. Escape the work zone. That's simple enough. Um, let's take another myself another sunshine. I love this drug. Man, that quest was easy. Well, I suppose I should not take out my weapon in the middle of the street and should really do the fact the f how, how, how worth labs then? Because there's not really much else for me to do. <sighs> Jolly good. Lovely day for it. Right, Toad. Jolly day, my good man. Jolly days. And off we go, off we go. Dum da dum da 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 dum dum da dum da dum dum da dum da 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 dum da dum da dum da dum dum ba da 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 dum ba dum ba dum. What is this animation? Like, come on! I don't think I've been in Hayworth Labs since Harry Hayworth gave that big tour a few years ago. Fair enough then. Uh, what's the, what's with those two then? What are they doing? Well, this is the door I have to enter through, so I guess we're finally continuing on with the storyline. Took me goddamn long enough. Sorry, sir. There has been a slight <laughs> hiccup in the disposition of the lab. Took you a while to and say that word. And it is currently in isolation. Okay. No one in, no one out. That's a shame. Please come back later. Uh, but, but, uh, uh, I'm a reporter. I'm supposed to interview Dr. Verloc. Oh, well, I hope he hasn't forgotten. Oh, a journalist, eh? <laughs> Have you got your press pass? I, uh, left it at the office. Well then, you'd best go back and get it, haven't you? So a press pass gets me in. Amazing what people will do to get in the newspaper. Maybe I can go talk is to it, Mrs. Oliphant to really? get O'Corral. See if she's got a spare press pass. Are you really that impressed by how much people will do to get in the newspaper? It's like the newspaper in this day is the equivalent of TV oh in our in the modern in our, in our modern day. I still wonder why there's all these lights outside of the city square. Because no one comes out to this part. To the offices we go. Off to the offices we go. There's a lot. you really got to wonder about some of the mysteries in this game. Like that thing and the fact that no one reacts to it. Especially when I run past it. I mean, it's not like it's a small little thing. It's a blatant siren going, Hey! Take your joy! Yeah. I'm surprised people ignore it as much as they do. My old office. That was fun, being a reporter. Receptionist is out for coffee. Typical. Cool? How am I supposed to get upstairs then? Um, you picklock your way up with the million and one picklocks that we have at our disposal. Arthur. Sorry, Hello, Constable. Lovely day for it. can't go without coffee these days. It's unthinkable. Ooh. I'm allowed anything and everything in the in this place because I work here. 
I have a sneaking suspicion that they want some coffee. Gee, I wonder why. I wonder what gave you that impression. Coffee soon, I'm gonna shoot somebody. Oh. Excuse you, but who are you? I must have tea. I must have coffee. I can't stand tea. What are you? Something not English? Right. Okay. Well then. Place power cell. Let's make ourselves... What's this? R coffee reminder. If you drink the last of the crabgrass tea, kindly make another pot hmm. for others. I bet if I got the coffee machine working, they'd all head off to the kitchen for a nice cup of joe. Probably. Well, they're all coming in. That's for sure. Where's the policeman? Here he is. Employee newspaper card. Got it. Well, here's the thing. Ah! I kind of want to explore all the desks. And that means I gotta get rid of the guy who can spot me working all the desks. Loot, 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 loot. Gotta get the loot, loot, all the loot, loot, all the loot, loot. Pick the loot, get the loot. I have lost my mind. I have lost my mind, but that's what loot does. That's what loot does. And there we go. I'm upstairs. Let's see if I can get Mrs. Onofren to give me my old job back and my old press pass. Ooh, record. Talk to the editor in chief. Do we really have to ask her? Can't we just do the sneaky method? I mean, we already know I'm going to do the sneaky method in the end because she's not going to let us. So can we just skip to that point where she's not going to let us and you stop trying to be a p complete worst trying to make everyone happy? And accept that you're going to have to do something you don't want to do? Hey, Arthur. How is every filing cabinet empty? Well, that one wasn't empty, but... Yeah. Ooh, fridge. Strange meat times three. I'm guessing that's human. Now... After what we've experienced. I'm guessing strange meat is human. I see no problem with this. Human can be quite nutritious. In the right circumstances. We are we are a omnivorous species. Which means our meat isn't quite as nutritious as an omniv as a herbivorous species. But it's still better than a carnivore. Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Yes, that's me. The place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go? When you disappeared for two weeks, did you ever remember? I must have had too lovely a time. <laughs> I was hoping you could use a reporter. I'm afraid I've got a half dozen of them. Bloody useless, the lot of them. Makes sense. I've got six they are. pieces on my desk, all about the new flavour of joy. Can you imagine? It's coconut. Didn't wow. Dr. Vlock make that announcement some time ago? Gemma wanted to do a piece on him. I hope she hasn't fallen in a hole somewhere. I haven't seen her in days. It's bloody frustrating, too. There's all sorts of silly rumours about the tunnels under Wellington Wells. Oh, yeah? Gas leaks, water yeah. main breaks, That's maintenance true. workers at the pub instead of their posts. Also true. That were all true. Wellington Wells would be about to fall apart. It is. I asked her to do a story about it. And I'm guessing oh. she failed. Well, um, I'm sure she'll turn up and everything will be peachy. I'm sure it will. Lovely to see you, Arthur. Drop by any time, really. Will do. Gemma was always digging up interesting stuff, from what I remember. Maybe I should poke around her desk. I'm pretty sure I've poked around every desk at this point. If you don't mind. Oh wait, it's the one I maybe couldn't I should loot. drop in on Gemma at home. If she's really vanished, then maybe I can get my old job back. Well, let's go see what happens to little Miss Reporter, shall we? <laughs> Imagine that. How far away is that? Of course, it's on the opposite side of the god of the goddamned place. Right, we're back here. Gemma. You take your joy. Gemma Olsons. What happened to you? You take your joy immediately. Well, this sounds good. That's coming from Gemma's house. That's a bit awkward. 
could cure the same. Oh, this is Gemma's house. Huh. Um. <laughs> just stay in a raid, the mater. I'm gonna guess you just did something to me. I don't know who you are. You saw nothing, Constable. Do we really have to do this? Constable Hockney. Although I'll take your stuff. I just thought he was stealing something and he pushed me over. It was only as a purely in natural instinct to beat up someone who decided to just push you over. I guess someone noticed she's not been around and decided to rob the place. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, I tried to. I mean, yeah, how bad of them. Kill the alarm. Can I just loot everywhere first? Hey, look, a yam. One of those things that everyone keeps to, seems to be obsessing about at the moment. Man, what was there to steal? Okay, yeah, can this just... This damn thing just... I swear by Shut all up. that is holy, if I find one toy train in your swag bag, I'm gonna knock your last tooth down your throat! Okay. Gordo, turn that fucking thing off and come back down here right now! If the alarm's all upstairs, right. I'm gonna have to get past Mr. Shelter here. Uh, you sound oh. like that's hard. Bloody hell! Who the fuck are you? I am the guy Bloody robbing thing. this place. Love what you've done with the place. Did he just get zapped by something? Ow! Oh, okay. Well... I see the problem now. You failed at using a short spike properly. You're an idiot! Well, when in doubt about whether you can do this properly... This is getting really annoying sounding. It's almost as if I should actually do something about it. But I guess, and I guess I should. You know, I just realized what it's going to look like, the fact I'm breaking into this place with this outfit on. Can you just shut up? My ears should recover in a few days. No, I will not keep my voice down. I am a law-abiding citizen. What? Okay. You have no right to touch me. I'm a reporter. You have no right to touch me. You know perfectly well I've taken my joy. You can't take me away. I'm not sick or unhappy. The only thing unha she's unhappy Please? about is you guys. Help! Someone stop them. Where are they taking her? Why did they take her? She Ooh. sounds quite sane. Did she know too much? Probably. About Looking what? at this. Looking at this, it definitely looks like she knew too much. Ooh. Are we gonna save her? Well, considering the fact I've already started looting the place, I think it's a little too late to even consider the fact we might be saving her. So, yeah. Ooh, what's this? Intimidator. Uh, small, uh, increased chance that enemies will live. If they're the last enemy, they'll leave. Ooh. Gemma. I would never have pictured it. I'm not sure I actually want to, come to think of it. Arthur, you're not a bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily. I can carry anything and everything easily. Shut up, Arthur. You are a pack mule. One day I might put people above looting. And then one day I might not be the Pirate Fox Archangel. Well, I think I've looted everything upstairs. So, time to head down. Oh yeah, I should probably search this man. Uh, cricket bat and everything. Yep, sure, whatever. Okay. So, oh should crap. Should we just take everything? I don't think Dr. V would like that. The constabulary might notice. I don't see anything talking about Dr. V here. Where's her study? I thought vampires had to be invited in. Downer! You're quite arrogant for doing that, Don't Henry. Me some time. Open I approve! Where the hell would I open up? Who are... Bricks, short spike, banger, repair kit, electroshocker, sovereign, and a dig spot. I'll take all of that. Thank you. 
I just have to unlock anything and everything. That's all. Get home before curfew. No, I don't think so. You guys know perfectly well I'm here, so don't even try to pretend that I'm not. You guys saw me run in here, and the fact you no longer care shows how bad your AI can be. Yeah. I wonder who the cause of that is. The not healthiness part, that is. Toxic fog. Electrocutions. If I read it top to bottom, then right to left. Mm -hmm. If I finished Gemma's investigations, Mrs. Oliphant would have to give me back my old job. And then I'd have a press pass. Makes sense, makes sense. Right, um, and, the, oh, small table. Okay. Shut up! What's going on? And that's, then that's finally finished by examining this. Come out! We're friends of Gemma! Look at that. Oh crap you are! You've been a busy girl, haven't you, Gemma? She, needs our help. she has been. Ooh. I think Get I found out. everything. Doesn't look like she found all the answers yet. You say get out, and how do you expl pr propose we do get out? Oh, we could get out this way. Okay. I wish I had realized I could have gotten in that way. Well, well I guess I'd better go see what's going on on this motoring regulation unit. Maybe the answer's there. Right, I need to just... Keep running. Will do. Will do. You run. I will do. So now I've got... Well, this work site thing. So... Okay, you're gonna be annoying, are you? Come on out there. Why are you looking at me for that? Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, you're sho shocking, isn't it? Yeah, shut up and go to hell. Sorry. Apparently I'm trespassing. I don't believe it. Now, it's a good thing I'm allowed out at night. Otherwise, this would be really awkward right now. But the fact I'm moving at the snail's pace is still extremely awkward. Hello, little things. Why are there two of you together? That doesn't seem very efficient. In fact, there's a third right nearby. Are you leaving the third one behind? Strange how everyone looks the same. I wonder if that's just a side effect that's stuck. Arthur, what have I tol told you people about getting meta? Right, I'm in a hatch. Do you know what that means? It means I can empty out my goddamn inventory. Right, inventory sorted enough. Right, then. Time for us to move. And where are we moving to? That's simple. We need to go check up on our lovers. Off we go. Right, so, what do I need to do? First, I need to equip gas mask. Then, I need to go through here and suck up the fog. Come on, fog sucker. Suck up the fog. Good works, fog sucker. Um. Um. Help. Help. Okay. 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 No. Do, uh, no. Stay out the grass. Stay out the grass. I'm learning this. Stay out the grass. I like being on the floor, thank you. Alright then. So, the question remains. How are the lovers doing this day? Lovely day for it. Indeed it, it is. not quite have the same ring to it here, does it? I thought we could stroll along the shoreline. I can't. Or we could stay right here. Aww. I can't leave him. I know you want me to. If he's not right in the head... He needs me. He loves me in his own way. Do you need him? Don't be clever. 
I don't want to remember you as merely clever. Remember me? We can't do this anymore. Oh? Uh, I found a hardware shop. Fantastic stuff. On Lymore Avenue by the Hollow. I want you to have it. If I can't be with you. That's far too kind of you. You oh. probably shouldn't go yourself. That neighborhood's a bit rough. I'll tell Harold. Don't tell him it's me. <laughs> Obviously. You're very generous. Mm. What is he up to? Oh. Oh, I re I think I realize what he's doing. Well then. Well, for a start, next we need to go to the net. Go and. How are you two doing? I swear, you two change every time I meet you, see you here. There's something wrong with the pair of you. That moment when you realize why all the night guards wear gas masks is because of the, po the random poison fog around the place. It really makes you think that if there's a bunch of poison fog around the place, why do you bother doing whatever causes the poison fog. All sucked. All sucked. Now what I gotta do with this all sucked one? I need to go back to the shop. That's fair. Well, we're gonna finish that off. We're gonna do that then. We're just gonna quickly travel over here. Old under hasn't changed since old George V. Well, as it shouldn't. And then we're going to go take a nap. It's time for us mm. to sleep. Oh. Jolly good. Had a lovely night's sleep with lovely dreams. It's shaping up to me. Why did my gas mask bro break? And I think I promise you that it's just going to get better. <coughs> Okay, why am I losing health? Why am I losing health? Alright, oh, I'm going to assume it's because of this fog sucker, so I need to run, run it over here as fast as I can. What can I do for you? That's quite there, helpful. take your fog. Now I'll be able to make an antidote for this bloody fog. Yeah, you should. And you're welcome to buy from my top shelf. Glad to hear it. Oh, I don't Get this fog away from me. me a favor. Maybe. Uh, Mrs. Cheney was here to buy some ingredients. And now yeah. I think about it, I'm afraid she might have been up to a little home chemistry. Why would you well, think that for now? for people to think that I'm brewing experimentals, you know. Sally Boyle doesn't work here anymore. This is a respectable shop. Could you see sure if she's alright? Discreetly like. And if you could retrieve the uh, ingredients from her house, oh, you'd be doing her and me both a favour. Uh, if you say so, mate. And I'm still suffocating. I hope you like that. It's one of my favorites. Um, I, I'm suffocating. Can I travel here, please? Um, my game is currently very bugged, so I'm quitting. So, everyone, hopefully I'm not dead by the end of the next time. So, everyone, I'd like to thank you all for joining me. I have been your host. The Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it's time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.